Hey there fashionistas, welcome to a new installation of 5 to 15 minutes of fashion. If you are not new to my channel, you're probably wondering what is going on. And if you are new to my channel, you may not be wondering what's going on, but I still want you to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you can be in the know about all things fantastic and fashionable and delicious. I saw a meme the other day that said, I need to get a hobby that doesn't include shopping or eating, and those are my favorite things. So my channel is all about luxe fashion and delicious yummy treats, and I'm going to show you today how to make this adorable little chocolate snowman hot chocolate bomb. Chocolate snowman hot chocolate bomb. I mean, all of those check out. The snowman is chocolate, there's hot chocolate on the inside, so all of that checks out. So I am gonna jump right in and show you how to make this cute little guy. Stay tuned. So these are, um, I think they're called Merkins. They are, my, my phalanges are clean, by the way. But um, they are already pre-tempered chocolate, and so you don't have to like measure the heat on this, but you do need to heat it at like 30 minute increments because um, it will overheat and it will burn, and burn chocolate, it's, it's not hot, it's not what's up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in, and we're, I'm gonna do it for 30 seconds to get it started, and then um, we will, maybe 45 seconds, 45 seconds, split the difference. Um, while we wait, should I tell a joke? Because I'm not gonna cut this part. We're gonna just keep going. I'm gonna tell a joke. What do you call someone who's afraid of Santa Claus? <laughs> Claustrophobic. I'm here all week, but it's terrible. My camera guy's like, he's gonna leave. You guys don't log off. Please don't log off. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be in the know about all things apparently fantastic, fashionable, and delicious here. So it's been in for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a toss. You wanna try to evenly distribute the heat. Even though it doesn't look like anything is happening, trust me people, the magic is happening. Let's see how our chocolate's doing. Now we got action happening. So this chocolate doesn't get terribly, terribly hot too. So if you're doing it with little ones, you guys also, this is my first time like with a professional photographer and I got a B-roll camera going, you know, just cause I'm, you know, I'll open with you guys and so I keep looking at the B-roll camera and I'm not making, I gotta make love to the camera, you know, keep my eyes on you. So again, kind of picking the same spot to scrape my spatula on so it's not a ginormous mess and laying your spatula down in the same spot. That'll help keep it clean. And these sound like minute, unnecessary details and you start doing it and your whole house is covered in chocolate. Um, let me grab, so the chocolate come in a ginormous bag. I think this is the, the 10 pound bag. Um, and these are the extra white ones. So I use extra white when I'm doing like very, very fancy, like things for weddings. And I did a little wedding cake ones. But, and these are more expensive, but for the most part, I just buy the regular white. They taste the same too. It doesn't taste funny because it's white. So I actually, I like the taste of these and I like how they melt. The chocolate, the melts that you get from like Michael's and the grocery, I use those for color sometimes. Sometimes I actually just add color to my white chocolate to make colored chocolate. The ones from like Michael's, they kind of taste waxy. So I don't know that I like that per se, but these are really good. So at this point, it's pretty melted. I have a couple pieces here that still haven't melted, but you can give that a spin and just let that sit and the warmth of the melted chocolate will melt those. So no big whoop. So we're gonna move on to the next step, the molds. These two size silicones, again, these will be linked on my, um, my YouTube. You hit the chevron and it'll expand and you'll see all the links. So I use this bigger size for the bodies and this guy's for their heads. And so we're gonna start with the body first because the body of the snowman is gonna be the hot chocolate bomb. The head of a snowman, I just like to make that, you can do like a little present inside. I've done like little tiny rings. I've done little candies. But the head of the snowman, you kind of have to decapitate him, which is, you know, it's not the best, but you know, kids. So the head can have whatever you want in it. But we're going to start with the body first because that's the one that has like all the particulars and the details and you've got to like be a little bit more careful, careful about how you do that one. So I go and I just get a little teaspoon and I put, and it make it makes a mess. Like trying not to drip it, like don't even attempt it. It's gonna make a mess, get after it. And because it's not terribly hot, like it really isn't warm, uh, that warm, you can have your littles help you too. So this first coating is just kind of to get you started. And what you really wanna focus on, I didn't really put enough in there, is the edges, like doing the sides. Because what will happen is gravity. 
and the chocolate will float down to the, will sink down to the bottom. So on the first layer, you just kind of want to make sure you build up the sides. That's going to be really important when you get ready to make the hot chocolate bombs. So get the sides nice and built up. Are you able to see that, my handy dandy camera? He's being very quiet and very polite. You're so well mannered. I'd be like snickering in the background and all that appropriate. So once you get that first coat in, go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. And now for the heads, you guys, for these, fill it up with chocolate and don't lose any sleep. These don't need to have anything special going on them. Like I always do these really, really thick because it's just, you're gonna put candy in it or a treat in it or I mean, whatever you want in the inside. The head is just decoration for the snowman. So nothing happening here and I'm definitely not careful or uh, and I don't use the chocolate sparingly for the head. Just put it in there. So these have been in the refrigerator for, I mean, less than like 30 seconds. And so I'm gonna hit them with the second coat. And this, you kind of try to need to do a good job and not put too much chocolate because this part is the hot chocolate bomb and you want it to open up easily. Last year I made these and no one told me, but then after I tried it, um, they didn't open up very well because I did too much chocolate on the body. So these are gonna be very delicate, very fragile, they'll break. And so um, you need to be careful with removing these, but you also don't wanna do too much chocolate and you really wanna focus on building up those edges. Okay, so here's the second one. These have been in for about 30 seconds. These are the heads. Again, not concerned about these. Like you can put tons and tons and tons of chocolate in here. I mean, if you, not, if you wanna not waste chocolate, that's one thing, but like I'm all about like just, I don't care about the chocolate. I wanna be efficient and just get the heads done so I can move on to all the decorating because that's what takes forever in a day. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done so. Okay, so my molds have been in the refrigerator, I would say like two to three minutes, enough time for me to go get the chocolate out of my hair that's been in there for a couple minutes. So I literally like went to the bathroom, got the chocolate out of my hair, came back, Give them a little touch and they were getting firm. So I think they're ready to come out. So these are the bigger guys that are gonna be the body. And let me get out the smaller guys here that are going to be the head of our little snowman. And so we're just gonna pop them out gently, but they're nice and shiny. And so very pretty. So there's our head. We'll pop another head out and we're all set. So here's my body, and I don't know if you can see this, but there's just some spots on it where it's just a little bit shallow, but that's okay. You just have to be gentle because you don't want these too thick. So you want to slowly take them out of the molds. And you want to make sure you don't lose too much of your edge here. And it's all downhill from here, people. It's all decorations. I mean, this isn't what you want. See how I ripped too much of that off? I mean, I'm going to... That's not great. Don't do that. I did that. Don't do that. <laughs> I purposefully did that so I could show you what not to do. You're welcome. Okay, so the next thing you need is I have a clear glass bowl here and I just have a candle warmer from Michael's. Nothing special. And so what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is clean the tops of these. Are you able to? Nope, can't see it. So I'll put it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right trying to get my Rachel Ray on. So you just want to clean off the tops here a little bit. Give it a little swirl to get the tops clean. And by cleaning off the tops, I'm meaning you want to get all the excess chocolate off. So give that a little swirl. Alrighty, you don't clean the other side because you're going to use, when, after you clean the other side, you're going to use that melted chocolate to stick them together. So the next thing you want to do is grab your hot chocolate mix. I'm just using, you know, Swiss, doesn't matter. Kids like sugar. Don't lose any sleep over the hot chocolate mix. And you want to fill it a good three quarters of the way, but save a little room for decoration. Here is the, uh-oh, the, it's just chocolate morsels and peppermint. We have your sprinkles, just sugar sprinkles, they'll disappear. And then we have just hot chocolate and marshmallows. Now to close these, you wanna just take your other dome, don't leave it in here too long, just enough to get melty and close her up, like so. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. And you wanna take your finger 
and just kind of spread. You have a little hole there, but I'm going to show you how to fix the hole in a little bit. If you have a little hole, what you don't want to do is go into here. I've done that. Go into your bowl to get warm chocolate to fix the hole. Um, hold on a second. Let me move this back over. You don't want to take chocolate out of here and touch this guy because it's so thin, you will melt it. It'll, you'll try to patch a hole and it'll make it worse. So don't do that. But what you can do is once the chocolate, you can take the chocolate off the, take the bowl off the candle warmer and then the ch let the chocolate cool and I get a paintbrush and smooth out any holes I have. Just paint the seal around it to make sure all of your goodies stay inside. But you do want to remove this from the bowl and chocolate cools pretty quickly. So you want to move, remove the bowl from the candle warmer before you patch up any holes. The next thing you want to do is if you have a pastry bag, take your pastry bag, stick it down inside of a cup, and you're going to scoop some of your chocolate into this pastry bag. So the next thing I do is a little pastry bag. Where are my kitchen shears? Nip a tiny little hole here and move that plastic so it doesn't make its way into anything you're doing. Kind of clear off a little bit of a corner on your um, back here and you want to do some little circles because you want to stand these guys up on something. So you want to kind of let these cool for a little bit and while we let those cool, I'm going to put this guy back on the warmer and I'm going to put my little heads together. So you just kind of break off the sides and whoop. I need to clean out the inside of this bowl because my guys are sticking and that's not ideal. It's hard to pick up the little heads here when you have too much chocolate in here and they're sticking. So for these guys, again, if you're going to put something inside of it, you would want to do that step next, but nothing to see with the little guys. These are just going to be hollow. You could put candy on the inside of it. But we gotta move on here, people. I got stuff to do today. So we are almost done with all the heads and I am looking at these little dollops here that I put for the bodies to stand up on. And I think that those are about ready. So it's like all my heads are together. This is why I wear gloves for this. Like I just, I can't stand having sticky hands. This is why I typically wear gloves. I mean, part of it's because you know, germs, but 90% of it is, I can't stand sticky hands. Okay. Okay, I wonder how long that cup's just been in the way. For the love. <laughs> For the love. I was gonna say, is there any significance of the cup right Nope, now? there's no significance of the cup. The okay. cup is just there. Don't edit that out. <laughs> okay. Uh, people need to know. People are like, oh, you're so together. And I'm like, no, I'm not. My whole life is a shit show. My whole life's a joke. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Well, now we nailed it. One of them. That's weird. This one wasn't ready. Well, that's good enough for right now. Okay, then you have some leftover chocolate in here. And so you just wanna squeeze a little bit of it out so you can do a little dollop to glue the heads on. I hope you can see this. Can you guys see that little dollop? Probably should have done it more out that way, but. Okay, so while we wait on those, let's move to our next step. So I'm going to make some little hats. I like to use Rolos typically for hats, but I couldn't find Rolos and I was on a deadline. Um, so I've also, I think the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups taste better, but they're not as cute as the Rolos. So we're going to decorate the hats um, while that cools to put the hats on. Okay. I hope this helps somebody. I hope it helps you. <laughs> okay. So, oh, and did I put... I'm cute, but this is not ideal. <laughs> Why was I so committed to this sweater today? It's not a good idea. Why did you let me wear the sweater? Where, where, who, where are the adults? How am I just unsupervised all day long? Huh? How am I just unsupervised? What is happening? Okay, so we're gonna put the heads on, and I try to find like the smoothest side to put forward. Oh, look at that. They're coming together. Maybe I'm not as much of a shit show as I have been. No, I'm still a shit show, but I can just pull it together last minute. Alrighty. 
Oh, they're so cute. Here's our little snow guys. Come on, snow people. Larry, Curly, Mo, or Dancer, Prancer, Vixen. I don't know. Let's just give them a name. Just call them names. Okay, I am going to just put some little snowflakes on this guy. Dip it in my chocolate here. Get me three little dollops of chocolate. The thing about the Reese's is the chocolate is super thin. It melts in your hand. You kind of want to keep your house cool when you're doing this. I'm so warm right now. This is less than ideal um, because I am melting the chocolate with the heat from my hand. So you kind of want to move pronto. Thum -bitty, thum -thum, thum -bitty, thum -thum. Okay, sorry. You guys, I freaking love Christmas though. God, I love Christmas. It's insane. Like we put our Christmas tree up on uh, November 1st. We put the fake one up on November 1st. And then after, Hall after Halloween, uh, then after Thanksgiving, we go get a real tree, and that's our upstairs tree, and we flock it wide, and it's a whole thing. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just do two little dollops of chocolate. It doesn't have to be crazy neat. doesn't matter. It's white, so you can rub it off. So we'll try to get his eyes on so he doesn't look like super wonky Andy Cohen eye. No offense, Andy Cohen, but he knows he has a wonky eye. And we'll do a little bit of chocolate for... His little nose, his little carrot nose. Oh my God, he's so cute. So cute. And then we'll do his buttons. One, two, and three. And then we'll add the little mini chocolates for the buttons. Oh my gosh, you're adorable little snowman guy. How cute is he, right? Is he not adorable? Is he so before I do the, um, before I move to the fondant, I'm gonna finish all my chocolate work so I'm gonna add a little fondant scarf, but I do wanna finish all my chocolate work so I can clean up the mess I've made here. So here we go with these guys. The last thing they need is some little rosy cheeks, right? So for the rosy cheeks, I'm gonna take a couple of, uh, these are just the wax candy melts from Michael's. They're not fancy. They're very, very, very waxy. So I don't like to make hot chocolate bombs with this because it, it's not, it isn't like creamy and rich. It doesn't taste that great. They're really, really waxy, but they're okay for like just minute decoration. So I'm gonna warm up some red and then I'm gonna add some white to it to make the little rosy cheeks. And then we'll clean up our wax paper here that is a hot mess. And then I'll roll up my fondant. And um, we're rolling out one color, bro. I think they're all gonna have red scarves, okay? Okay. Did I already tell the Dorito joke? I don't think I did. <laughs> it's hilarious. So what did the one Dorito farmer say to the other Dorito farmer? Cool ranch, bro. <laughs> oh God, that one gets me every time. It never gets old. Just never gets old. Okay, I'm gonna burn the chocolate. Do I have chocolate in my hair again? <laughs> Laughing at my stupid joke. I don't want his cheeks like super red. I would like them rosy. Like, Saint Nick Rosie. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my chocolate here, my white chocolate here, to make a little bit of pink. Not too pink though. And then we'll paint some cheeks on here. And so for the red cheeks, very simple, you just wanna take your paintbrush in here, get a liberal amount, and do your one cheek. Oh, so cute. These guys are so cute. It's kind of hard to do upside down. His cheeks may not be completely symmetrical, but they're cousins. Well, they're sisters, not twins. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm gonna have to do the next one towards me because it's a little wonky, but you guys get the idea. Let's see, so we'll do his cheeks. You almost don't want the brush to make the contact with the snowman. You almost just want the chocolate to make the contact. Alrighty. So these guys are all done. All they need now is scarves. So I typically do two color fondants for the star scarves, but for the sake of time and my personal sanity, um, I'm gonna move this side of the way. Are we still, are we in frame? Oh, they're talking. They're having a conversation. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna separate you. Be good while you're in the class. Okay, so I am going to move this guy for right now. Move this so I won't burn myself and we're gonna roll out the fondant for these guys scarves. So I just love using the wax paper too because when you're done, very easy cleanup. So I typically make my own marshmallow fondant because I 
personally like the taste of marshmallow fondant more than I like the store-bought fondant. But because these are on like little, uh, just little snowmen and people are probably not going to eat them. I have like one girlfriend who eats the fondant. She's a super weirdo. Most people just like throw it away so I don't waste time making like actual <laughs> marshmallow fondant. I just buy this from, I mean, you can get it from everywhere. You can order it from Amazon. I'll put a link below. You can get it from Michael's. You can get it from Walmart. I mean, I've seen it everywhere. Um, it doesn't taste, it's, it's not a bad taste. I just, I mean, it tastes like regular fondant. Not a bad taste at all, but I prefer if I'm gonna like put it on a cake, I like to use marshmallow fondant. And there's so many marshmallow fondant recipes um, if you Google marshmallow fondant, but basically you melt down marshmallow and you add in the powdered sugar and it's really really delicious it like tastes better I personally if I have a cake with fondant I pull the fondant off so what I'm doing here is just using the heat from my hands to get the fondant kind of malleable so I can work with it and then I'm gonna roll it out I like to kind of get the bulk of the creases out before I start rolling it out um, what I'm gonna do here is Give it a press and try to start making it a square because that's the goal, right? So just roll it out. If your fondant is sticking, which it shouldn't, this fondant has a pretty good consistency and doesn't typically stick. But if it does, you can use cornstarch or powdered sugar to uh, keep it from sticking to your work area. So I like to kind of get myself going and then I use my guide here because I kind of want to make this, the scarves are good right at around nine to 10 inches now that I know how long I need it. So what I like to do for the kind of frayed edges of the scarf, I like to go ahead and get all those done before I cut the scarf off so I'm not doing it individually. And again here, I mean, it's a scarf on an edible snowman. Like, it's not Chanel. Get it done. So I just and try to keep a steady straight. Again, you really don't need to measure these out that carefully because it's going on a candy snowman. You guys, this is it. This is like the last mile of this marathon. We made it. There were times when it looked like we weren't going to make it. But as your fearless leader, I am so happy that we made it. And then you can kind of give these guys just a little toss. So you can just get some little cupcake tins, some gold ones, place them inside the cupcake tins. And then I like to do little cellophane bags. So I take a little cellophane bag and getting them in the bag is trickery to try not to knock their hats off. I just want to hold them upside down. Wiggle them just so. And then you can use curly string or twist ties to close them off. If you made it this far, don't have a hot chocolate bomb. Have yourself a glass of wine because you really stuck it out. So guys, that it was, it, honestly though, it was kind of fun making these. I'm kind of obsessed with them. And again, honestly, I really enjoy making them. They're a lot of fun and they're so cute once they're done. Anywho, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.